Nick Wood, whose real name is Huỳnh Công Wood, was born in March 29, 1951 in Long An, Vietnam. He started working for the Associated Press AP as a photojournalist at the age of 16. From 1968 to 1975, Nick Wood worked as a war correspondent in Vietnam, capturing thousands of photos about the war. The most famous photo of the Vietnam War by Nick Wood is Napalm Girl, taken on June 8, 1972 in Chiang Bang District, the southern province of Tây Ninh, featuring terrified Vietnamese children, including Phan Thị Kim Phúc, running down the street after their village was set ablaze with Napalm. Napalm Girls captures the hardship and horror of the war conducted by the U.S. in Vietnam, helping change the world's look at the Vietnam War and boost the anti-war movement in the U.S. His famous photo Napalm Girl won every major photographic award, such as the Pulitzer Prize, the World Press Photo Award, the George Paul Memorial Award, and the Overseas Press Club Award. Hello everyone and you're watching Showing Vietnam on VTC10 NetViet. In today's program, we are going to have a talk to a very famous AP photographer who captured the photo of a Nepal girl in 1972 in Vietnam. Please join me in welcoming Nick Wood. Thank you so much for joining Showing Vietnam today. Oh, thank you. As far as I know, you have just retired from AP in March of this year. So how has life been for you? Oh, I so enjoy now. I just retired like uh, over three weeks ago, uh, over 51 years for AP. But uh, I will meet my assignment in Hollywood now because I've been over 40 years. I, I know everything in California, everywhere. All friends of my reporter in LA, they always, every time my, uh, my assignment somewhere, they go, Nikki, we meet you. And I enjoy so much, you know. And um, really three weeks I met my job. After this, I uh, long vacation, I might be do feeling. feeling. Not, I don't want full time, I want feeling for my, my job again. You have had a lot of visits to Vietnam and some of them are very special. So may you share with us about your impression of uh, the change of Vietnam? In 1989, AP asked me to go to Vietnam. I loved it. I said, I want to go right away. But the first thing they sent me to uh, Ho Chi Minh City. I said, no, Nikki, you go to Hanoi. I said, oh my God. When I arrived at Tanchi Airport, somebody called Nick Wood. I said, oh, I feel better. Because the people know who I am. Then the Nan and Hanoi, so many, you know, they, I don't know who they are, but they know my faith very well. And we become friends right away. And everyone said, Nikki, we know your picture because your picture changed the world. And we still alive today, today because your picture. I met so many women in Hanoi, they cried, they hurt me. They, 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 they know my picture came from. We opened the AP uh, the Vietnam. I spent almost one year in Vietnam. I love the here longer. I, spent, I travel everywhere in Vietnam with my uh, bureau chief or my assignment. And uh, I think, uh, most picture AP, only first AP uh, American in the Vietnam that time. The AP business, we want to look for the business. And uh, MIA story, we look for American mix in action. They send me everywhere. And uh, landmine, I shot a lot of landmine in central Vietnam. Amazing picture. The children die, uh, not so far from Hanoi, uh, no buy, no no buy. I had a picture of the bomb explosion, had the family of four children, and two of them died. I cried so much after 20 years. Uh, the, the, the kid picked up one, the CBU bomb, and the bomb explosion. I, I know one boy, one girl died. And the mother and the family all cry. I cannot picture anymore. I cry all the time. I, I, I saw one picture, the bad picture, I stopped right away. I cannot shoot anymore. It was so sad. I said, why? 20 years later, people do die, you know, yeah. So you spent a year in Vietnam? Almost a year in Vietnam. Then it happened, already a big earthquake. My company asked, Nikki, you had to come back right away. Mm -hmm. I want to stay longer. And after that, I had to come to Vietnam 
lot of workshop help our students join us in Vietnam and uh, take a lot of Thai vacation. I think almost every year, then this year about re, re, uh, retire. Have you ever been back to uh, the village, uh, the place where you took the Nepal girl photo? I remember 1970, June 8, 1972. You never see on Highway 1, see anyhow on the Highway. Yet Bagoda, one Bagoda there before they come to the village. Village a couple of thousand people there only. Today you go back to uh, the village from Saigon to Ku Tainan. You never see the, the right field anymore. How, how it banned building everywhere. And you stand right about where I think of it's a napalm. Now a top side red line. I don't believe that. Thousand motorbikes, car traffic like Hollywood Freeway. Amazing. I walk, I can walk anywhere there because too many motorbikes, you know. It's changed a lot there. All, everything changed. You know, every time you're there, turn back. Feature. I, uh, I want to do more feature story there. Uh, because the picture there, my history story, I want to do more photo there. Read them more. Mm -hmm. Right now, yeah, every time I come back, my short trip, my Thai. You know, I want, I hope Kim Phuc come back with me together. Then I want to picture her outside, not running. She run by, she happy. I tell her already. I tell Kim Phuc, one day I want you to come back. You running, but smiling happy. Mm -hmm. So may you share with us about the things that you captured about Vietnam apart from the war? I do a lot of features about Vietnam. And, uh, you know, like uh, most business, how the Vietnam changed today over, almost over 45 years, 50 years ago. Everywhere the Vietnam changed. You know, I told a lot of friends of my, a friend of my American uh, reporters, and, you know what, you know, Vietnam like Las Vegas, every time you come back to a new building. Exactly, new building everywhere. I get lost when I come back to Vietnam. I don't, I don't wear my house anymore. Go to even different street, you know. Yeah. What about the people? The people, same thing. People are very friendly. I love people because I'm Vietnamese. I want to go see my people, you know. People. Recently, Nick Wood came back to Vietnam and presented five photos to the Vietnam Women Museum. Among five photos, four were taken by Nick Wood and one by his colleague, capturing the moment when Nick Wood helped save Phan Thi Kim Phuc, a girl who got severely injured by an Nepal attack on June 8, 1972 in Chiang Bao, Tây Ninh. During more than half a century working as a photojournalist, Nick Wood took thousands of photos However, Napalm Girl is still considered one of the most powerful ones. The image was ranked 41st among top 100 influential photos in the 20th century. It had changed the faith of Kim Phuc from a victim of the war to becoming a goodwill ambassador of the United Nations. Apart from the photos, Nick Wood also presented a camera that he used when he was a war correspondent in Vietnam to the museum. The Nikomart camera, which was always wanted by museums around the world, is now present at a Hanoi-based museum.
As far as I know, you donated photographs and also the camera that you used during the war in Vietnam um, to the Museum of Women. Uh, may you share with us more about that story? You know, during the Vietnam War, I had met a camera. I, I had my assignment, I had like about five cameras. And the camera, I shot a picture of Kim Phuc and Napalm with Leica, the camera in New Zealand in Washington, D.C. And they have my picture there. They asked me last year, I donated my army uniform, my media pad, Vietnam media pad, and uh, all my old pictures. I give all of them. That's why in Vietnam, I don't have too many to donate, only pictures, the story about Kim Phuc and uh, what one old camera. Mm -hmm. I had a museum everywhere in the world. They asked me to donate the camera. I said, no, I want to give Vietnamese. What do you love to share with the young Vietnamese uh, photojournalists? Uh, what should they do in order to be uh, good at this career? You know, the young photojournalists, they, they do a very good job, so good. And I talk to them all, all, all the time. Never learn Photoshop, that's all I tell them. You take pictures, your story, you make one thing, you never get a job. I have so many friends, uh, famous in America, they make that. You Photoshop, never get a job anymore. You Photoshop you for fun only, nothing about your photography. I'm sure that everyone is curious about what are you going to do? What is your plan after the retirement? Right now, I had, uh, I had a lot of people do my book. <coughs> and they make the film of me, my life story. That's why I'm so busy, I had to go back next, uh, another week. Uh, they, they shoot me everywhere, almost long day. I think I'm retired, I'm very busy more than working. I now lay, I shoot a lot of land cap. I travel all the time, never home. I travel, not California, I travel the whole world. I've been in China, everywhere. Always take a picture. And uh, I want a picture of my book one day. Mm -hmm. That's why I went back to LA, then I in case you go to New Orleans, Alaska, a lot of play. I shoot all of the feature photos. What about Vietnam? Oh, I love Vietnam. I shoot Vietnam almost every day over here. My son, he started in Hanoi when he was a kid. You know, he finished his job now, he traveled himself. My daughter never in Vietnam. My wife, she come back often. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, one day I bring my daughter here. She's not young anymore. She's like 36. She has two, two uh, kids. You know, I have two grandchildren. I love my, bring my daughter, my grandchildren. When to Vietnam one day, the one I want them to learn about Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. Once again, thank you so much for joining us, and I hope that you will keep uh, photographing the changes of Vietnam and also other part of the world. Of course, I want. I would take care every month. Be good. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is the end of the program for today. I hope that uh, you have just enjoyed the program, uh, the talk with one of the most famous AP photographer, Nick Wood. Uh, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. <laughs>